My first connection with an organization like Tubman was actually when I was in elementary school. Uh, my cousin came to live with my grandparents and he was in a full body cast as a five-year-old. And I was just a few years older than him and uh, my, my grandparents and my, my mom were very, very broad about why he was there. He needed to be taken care of, he was in this cast, he was coming to stay with my grandparents. And so that was about it. A um, couple of months later, he moved back to uh, his home, got out of his cast, and then a couple months after that, I was greeted by the police at my elementary school where they were asking me to come with them instead of being picked up by my family because uh, there had been a threat made to our entire family. My cousin and my aunt had been living in a version of a hell for years. As a young kid, I didn't know about it uh, until I knew about it. And at that point, being picked up by the police to be taken to a safe spot to be with my family, uh, everything kind of shifted for me. Um, my aunt and my cousin ended up needing to flee to Wyoming so they could be protected by the fact that they were out of the same state that we were in at the time with their uh, offender in Colorado. They had to go to Wyoming simply to get away. And I think my family and my aunt and my cousin could have gone a lot of different directions with that experience. What my family committed to in Colorado Springs, Colorado, was working with our Tubman. It's called Tessa in Colorado Springs. And I started doing fundraisers when I was in junior high for Tessa. My aunt could have gone a different direction as well. She, I think, could have rightfully wanted to distance herself from uh, the work of and trauma of domestic violence, but instead, she committed her entire career after moving to Wyoming to be a victim services support person with her local agency like Tubman. And so although we weren't in Minnesota, we were with Tubman at that time and the hope and the dream of what can come from trauma became apparent to us and to my family and it's something that we've remained committed to. 